Hi Washoe families, we're here with a third and a fourth grader to show you how to play How Close to 100. This is what the directions look like that came in the distance learning packet. And right here we have the game board, which right now we're going to use this 10 by 10 grid. And so Ryan went ahead and he rolled the dice to start, and so he got his two first factors. What did you get, Ryan? One and a three. So he's going to use these dried black beans to make a one by three array on the game board. And the reason we're using these dried black beans is, is so that we can reuse this game board because we don't have a printer right now. If you do have a printer or if you want to draw your own 10 by 10 grids, go ahead and make your array, Ryan. Is it, can I put it in the middle or does it have to be on the sides? Oh, you can put it wherever you want right now. We're going to want to fit as many as we can in there, so we're going to have to think about it later, but right now, whatever you want. So if you don't, if you want to draw your own, which Abby did want to, so she drew her own over here, you can shade it in or just draw lines around the boxes to make your arrays and then shade those in. So that's an option too. Okay, so Ryan did his, so now he's gonna write the multiplication fact that would represent that array. Oh, let's see, you've already got it, huh? So what do you write in there, Ryan? Um, one times three, which is my array, equals three. So, so you guys have so, used up three boxes so far? Yeah, so that means we have 97 more boxes to fill. Hey, these guys are playing cooperatively right now, which means they're working together to see how close they can get to 100 on this 10 by 10. And so one option besides dice is you can also play with cards. And so in this deck of cards, we took out the face cards and all the numbers above seven so that it's the same as using dice right now. And then what Abby will do is draw two cards and those will be her factors. I got this. Um, so I'm gonna make an array of Four. Putting it right next to the other one? Yep. Okay. Just fitting in there nice and tight. That, and then I'm going to come and shade it out right here. What's your multiplication fact that shows what that array looks like? And my multiplication fact is four times one. So making these arrays with the multiplication facts is great for the kids because they get a visual representation of what multiplication looks like. And later on they connect that to area models. We can also use the cards if you know that your student needs to work on a certain fact. Um, Ryan, you want to work on sixes right now? Sure. Okay, so what I can do is I can actually pull out a six and we can just leave that here and say that's going to be one of your factors and then you just you can take turns rolling one die. Okay, so what kind of array are you going to make for that? I'm going to make a three times six. Okay. Where do you want to put it? Let's put it down here at the bottom. Some other things we found that worked pretty well in this, we tried uh, black beans, coffee beans, pumpkin seeds, and chocolate chips. Those all worked pretty well so we could reuse our game board. Yeah, some things were too small. Okay, so you have a, a three by six array there. Yep. Okay, so Ryan, are you gonna record the multiplication fact that goes with that? Mm-hmm. And Abby is shading on her array there. And then I'm going to add up my two factors, which is a 3 and 18 over on the side so we can figure out how many we um, have shaded in. Don't forget Abby's fact because you guys are working together right now. 4 times 1. Okay. okay, so how close are you guys to 100 right now? So we only need to fill in 75 more? Yep. 75 more. But you know what? I'm going to switch it up on you guys right now just so we can show another version of this game, okay? Okay. So they were playing cooperatively. You can also play this game in a competitive version. And so to do that, you play against each other and whoever gets the close, once you get to the point on the board where you can't fit any more arrays, whoever has the most of their markers on the board wins. Mm -hmm. And even in the cooperative version, we would just play until we couldn't fit any more arrays on there. And that's as far as we can go. And so to do that, we, we needed two different markers. So Abby's got pumpkin seeds here, and Ryan's got the dried black beans. Um, Ryan, do you want dice or cards? Um, I'll do dice. Dice? So he's going he's gonna to do his dice. He's going to make a fact. Six times three. And so we would take turns. He would, he's going to fit his six by three. Go ahead. You can fit your array on there. And Abby... Are you going to do cards? I saw you draw the cards there. Yeah, I'm 
Um, yeah, okay. she wants to do cards. Okay, so she's going to take two cards. And she can start thinking about where she's going to fit her array. And you're going to use the seeds. Yeah. And so what happens is as they fit their arrays on, it gets pretty tight on the board until you can't fit anymore. Now, as an extension on this game, and you can see on the game board that this is on here, one of the things the students can practice is making smaller multiplication facts as long as it's the same as their array. And as an example, I'm going to use Abby's fact while she's fitting on there. So if she could, she, she's going to do a 6 by 2 array. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To get tricky towards the end when it gets tight for space, she could go like this and say, instead of doing a 6 by 2 array, I'm going to do two 6 by 1 arrays because that would be the same as a 6 by 2 array. Would that work, Abby? Could you put a 6 by 1 array in two different spots? Yeah. Yeah? Uh-huh. Mm, that, would, that would make it a lot harder to fit them all in there, huh? Uh-huh. And I put mine right above this one so you have to draw all one. And then in this case, they're going to keep track of just their own arrays so they can know how much they got. Oh, just our own? Just your own. Whoever gets the highest number at the end wins and, until you can't fit any more on there. Okay, we're going to keep going and see who wins this one. Have fun with how close to 100. 